Welcome to the FCICA product webinar series. We are pleased to have Corey Dickerson, Sim, of Wolf Tools with us today. Corey, the floor is yours. Well, thank you, and thank you everyone for joining today. Um, I want to thank William, Lizzie, the entire team over at FCICA for um, putting on this webinar for us. Um, my name is Corey Dickerson. I am a Wolf technical sales rep uh, for the Midwest region, and um, I'd like to welcome you all to this uh, educational w webinar. Um, next. Why Wolf Tools? Well, in this webinar, we're going to go over several different aspects, I mean, several different things that would be um, the reason why you would want to use Wolf Tools uh, for First, first of all, because we're just we have awesome tools and they're green, so they look pretty cool too. Um, but we're going to get into the um, uh, about Wolf, what what makes us up here in the in the um, in, in the U.S. We're going to go through the history, the, the uh, present and our future, all three phases of what Wolf brings to uh, your job site, and then we'll uh, get into some uh, Q and A. Next and next, let's see. Wolf Tools in the in North America is um, headed by Dan Gill. He's our brand manager of Wolf Tools. Uh, he has over 24 years of experience with equipment and tools in the flooring industry. Um, Dan also is the inventor of the automatic dust con containment system. Um, as you see there, he's been a tool lover since the age of three. Um, Dan Dan leads a leads a group of uh, three three guys out in the field where. Currently, um, we we currently have the three guys who are listed in this slide. Will be starting off with uh, Joe List. Um, Joe has over 19 years experience with Wolf Tools. Um, he's the outside technical rep for the West Coast territory. Um, and Joe has a, an extensive knowledge on on all our on all tools that are Wolf. He um, actually used to actually. Um, Re repair and be the customer service guy for him out in California. Um, next is we have um, Dennis Bergstrom. Dennis has over 14 years of installing floors and over 30 years of sales knowledge in the flooring industry. Um, Dennis is, is our territory manager for uh, Texas and parts of Utah, and I think he hits down, down south a little bit too in the Louisiana area, Arkansas. Um, next would be myself with over 20 years of flooring experience uh, and, and in the, the distribution and sales. I've worked with Wolf Tools for more than 13 years, and I joined the team July 2nd of 2018. Um, like I said before, I am the, Mid, the Midwest Territory Manager, um, and I have been, um, I've been part of the FCICA for four or five years now, I do believe. Next, um, you can also you can always visit our, our website at www.wolftools.com. Uh, we have a product guide there. We also have several of our parts and well, we have all of our um, equipment is listed there, and you can find parts and diagrams for for all of the tools and equipment on on that site. Um, next is our history, the present, and the future. Next. Our history um, as an innovative spirit, an innovative spirit is at our core. Um, Hans Wolf began the company in 1954. He was a tool designer and, and um, tool, tool designer turned entrepreneur. Next, one of his first creations was, as you can see to the left, the original um, turbo stripper, and that is uh, circa 1950s. Um, Wolf was the first to patent um, the technology for self-propelled co floor covering removal machines. So um, we were the first company to actually put that that type of uh, technology out. Uh, Wolf was well ahead of his, his, his time. I mean, he he um, created a, a machine that tons of tons of people have used over the years. Um, the next would be. As you can see in the next slide, we have a lot of our machines were were red uh, in the 80s. 
So I still, I've got a couple guys. I was in Pittsburgh. I had a guy who came across who still had a red turbo stripper. That was pretty cool. Um, we we have a, a wide range of, of uh, stripping machines. And on our next slide, uh, the present day and innovative spirit is at our core, yet we've expanded offerings um, across the board. So as you can see there in that, in that picture, we've changed all of our machines to that, that wolf green that, that we're known for. Um, our, our machines are widely available, and um, they are marketed towards the flooring industry and, and towards floor, floor manufacturers. Our present day, right now, we have a facility in Ilsfield, Germany, and that's where the um, that's that's where our um, manufacturing plant is, our production plant is in, in Ilsfield, Germany. We have um, a, a classroom setting where we where the guys go over um, the new technology and they learn, they teach each other of our new and, and upcoming machines. Uh, we have. Um, in Ilsfield, a 150 square foot land and a building area of 70,000 square feet. And from what I'm understanding, um, I haven't been there since 2014, and I was there at the new facility when it was a grand opening. And from what I'm understanding, because of our growth, we are ready to expand into a bigger facility. The next, the next slide is our future. We have technology that is. Um, that is that is leading the, uh, the, the the industry when it comes to Terra machines. As you can see in the picture there, we, we have what's called our Robo Stripper, which is um, new and innovative. Um, that is actually, I don't have the updated image of it. The updated image has it uh, non-tethered to the machine. I actually got a was um, I, I actually had an opportunity to work this machine and found it to be extremely cool. Um, it, it's um, it's just a, a, a phenomenal piece of equipment, and the, our ability to think ahead and think what what would be best for for the installer um, is just what makes us such a, a an, an innovative and, and forward thinking pro, um, company. Next slide is all three phases um, leading in innovation in all three phases with the best in machinery and special tools for floor removal substrate preparation and installation of floor coverings we have all three phases we we can tear the floor up we can um, we can help you prepare the um, substrate and then we can also we also have tools for in installing and those are that's what we're about to get into now the next slide is our intro page to floor removal um, and following that would be the very next page is about our turbo 2 stripper as we saw before, uh, this was one of the first uh, inventions by, by Hans Wolf, was the uh, Terra machine and then its self-propelled uh, option. The Turbo Stripper 2 is the second generation of, of such machine. At 5,000 strokes per minute, um, it, it is one of the fastest machines in the industry. We've heard that um, some of the um, other machines can get up to about 3,500 strokes a minute. This one is 5,000. We have a, a unique weight system where you can position weight in three different spots. Um, behind the drive wheel, on top of the drive wheel, and then you can shift the weight all the way in front so that it can main, so that the blade jaw can main, maintain contact with the floor for, or the floor which you're trying to to remove. Um, Fully self-propelled with a um, with 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 a operating clutch handle. Um, this machine you can actually take it apart in about I'm going to say in about 90 to 100 seconds. Um, you can break it down into four different pieces as it sits. Uh, both weights come off, the handle come off, and then you just have the chassis. Um, you, that entire machine you can actually load into a a vehicle with with one man. Um, its stripping capacity is over 1,000 square feet per hour, so it, it actually it actually can 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 move. Two key features about this machine: one is that you can move. The, the what makes it so productive is that 
you can move it back as fast as it goes forward. There is no operating mechanism to pull for. Or I'm sorry, there isn't a re- reverse operating mechanism on the machine. So as fast as you you want to pull it back and get into your your next run, you can easily do that with this machine. And the other thing is that this is one of I think this is the only machine in the industry for which you can we have a hardware tariff kit that goes right with this machine. And what it does is it go around the, the drive wheels. It's got a different um, striking uh, blade uh, that allows you to tear up um, glue down um, hardwood. It's a phenomenal machine, and it is our it's it's our staple machine. Um, we are very proud of it, and it it does a it does a heck of a job for us. Next slide. The next slide is our Wolf Dual Stripper, and I, every, everywhere I go, I, I have a ton of people who tell me how much they love this this machine, um, and, and a lot of people just say how how easy it is for them to get in in, in and out of really tight spaces with with this machine. They absolutely love it. Um, it's got an an, an, an oscillating um, striking motion for for the blade. Um, it's it's pretty quiet to say the least. Um, we have a razor blade adapter that goes on the end of it, so you can take an eight-inch blade and put it right in, right, right in there, and it can easily remove adhesive off floor. Um, it can make that floor pretty, pretty clean and, and ready for for scarification. Or if you're using, if if you're using some um, some underlayment, or uh, I'm sorry. If you're using some type of self lever that uh, if that's encapsulating, that can encapsulate the uh, adhesive, it's ready to go. The handle is easily to to remove. Um, it has a couple of, it has a couple of wheels on the on the back for 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 easy for easy usage, and um, it has um, one of the features is special bearings that reduces the vibration on the handle through the machine. It's a very lightweight machine. It comes in a in, in a case, and I will tell you that <laughs> using this quite often, um, when you using it, when you break it down and put it in that case, man, it becomes a little bit heavy. But when it's outside the clay case, it actually feels super light. Um, a lot of guys have used it. I know a lot of, a lot of companies that, that that rent this out. Um, it's a it's a really cool little tool. And the next slide. Is it's going to the next slide is it's one of those things those innovative machines that 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 we have that we're going to be reintroducing in in the states um, hopefully next year I'll have some more some more data on on that once um once once we get a little bit more testing back on on the machine but um, this is our Vario stripper it's our silent quiet stripper it actually goes and this thing is pretty cool um it can remove pvc linoleum lvt um lvp it's it has uh, two operating motors on it one motor operates the striking blade the other motor operates the um the uh, self-propelled wheels the um drive wheels uh, it, it too is self self repel. Um, it um, has a variable speed on it, so that you, you can, as when you pull pull the handle, it can go at what speed you want it to to go at. And again, you can pull it back as fast as you you would like. Um, I've I've heard it ex- explained or, or described the, the sound being described as if you had your window down and drive about 45, 50 miles per hour. I've used this in occupied areas uh, in um, some some ho- hotels. I've even used it in some some business offices, and you really it's really hard to even hear the machine running. We're, like I said, I'm hoping we, we can have the the, the relaunch in the U.S. Um, next next year, but we'll we'll have more details. And if you have questions about it, feel feel free to reach out, and, and hopefully I can have some answers for you. So that there are our three um, our our two floor removal machines that are in the state and then a third one that we hope to look to, to have out in the industry here here very soon in the US here very soon. Moving to our next slide, which is floor preparation. 
with floor prep, we, we have three machines that, that we use in our floor prep. I tend to, I have a little system that I like to explain them in. Um, we have two, what I call, what we call combination machines, and then we have one that's a straight grinder. The one we're going to start with is our, is our Samba grinding machine. The Samba is one of the most powerful um, low-speed horsepower machines in the industry. At 2.25 horsepower, it is, it's, it's um, three-quarters faster than most of your stand-up buffing machines. Um, the durable steel, steel gears inside it allows us to not have a shear pin, which a lot of your other machines that you're used to using do, and you guys found it that uh, you hit a crack, I mean, you, you hit a seam that's high, piece of rebar or something that's, that's projecting out of the floor, or even if you uh, get into some thick, nasty adhesive, uh, you tend to break a shear pin, and while while they are easy to replace, it's just the time down that that you have to that the machine the machine has to be down for you to replace them. The Samba does not have a shear pin. Um, it's RPM. Well, I'm sorry, it does not have a shear shear pin, and I believe its RPM is right around 150. Um, if I was a betting man, I would say it's 150. Um, and I would be wrong because the RPM is 160. I'm sorry, pardon me for that one. It only weighs about 97 pounds, what they working with the 14 is four, I'm sorry, 15 to 16 inches. Um, it has a, um, it, it has a full range. I mean, it can, it can accept the full range of grinding discs and our plates. And we, we have a range that, that are available for it. Um, there is a, um, you can get a a, a, hand, a handle mounted vacuum and shroud kit that's available for it for for dust containment. Um, the, the, the the Samba is a really really un, un, unique and it's small, unique in the fact that it's 2.25 horsepower um, makes it a, a very viable for a, a viable solution for scraping up uh, paint or even grinding sanding and buffing. So that's why we uh, consider it as a combo machine. Our next slide is going to be the uh, Mambo Evo. And this this machine it is so versatile. Um, a lot of guys see it and they just totally fall in love with it because it's 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 so versatile. Um, it has um, it it too can do all all three. It can grind, it can uh, sand, or you can use it as a buffer. And the reason why is because it has a variable speed control on it. So it can go, excuse me, it can drop down to 150 RPM, and then it can crank out to 450 RPM uh, with a 2.68 horsepower and that much, um, and, and, and that, that high range of RPM with the, with the variable with the variable speed, um, it, it, it requires some, some power to it. Uh, when, when, when I go out with this machine, I the first thing that I have to point out to guys is that buying this machine, I mean, you have to have a direct 20 amp line for it. Uh, it's a 15 amp draw, but it, it kind of it, it'll it'll shoot up over that 15 amp, and it'll pop some 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 circuits. But outside of that, which is a very good, it's a it's, if there's going to be a problem, that's a good problem to have. The thing is powerful. It's ready to tear up floor. I mean, it's it's ready to to get into some milling into some scarification. Um, the handle can actually uh, adjust with one little simple push of a button that the handle can can drop down and it can go up and down for you. Um, the wheels on the on the back of it, the the wheels are are height adjustable. They're also part of the leveling mechanism because you want to make sure that that head on this machine is level whenever using it. Um, it does have a uh, it, it does have a horseshoe weight on the front of it. Um, with, without the weight, it's about 115 pounds. With the weight, it's about 155, 154 pounds. Um, the, the, the Mambo uh, can take uh, again. It can take any of your any any um, drive place that that you may have. It does have the the, the mallet clutch on it, so it, it's ready to go when whenever um, with with whatever drive plate that that you can possibly think of. 
I have used this machine. Um, I can I can tell you how 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 versatile it is. I've used it to scrape up floors. And just the other day, I was on a job site where we used it to um, grind up some uh, some rubber floor um, covering that was that was sprayed down at a um, gym facility. It got into that, went right down to the floor, scarified the floor at 450 RPM. I have also taken the weights off, dropped it down to 150 RPM at my parents' house, and have and signed their, their sanded their their uh, deck on their house. So that's how versatile, how it can be that that gentle to work on me, me sanding their, my my parents' deck, but it also can can be as aggressive to get into a facility and scrape down into some to some rubber finished floor and get into the concrete. Pretty personal um, machine. Again, it's it's uh, grinding with with dust control. It can be anywhere from 15 or 16 inches. Um, the the third one is it's not a combo machine, but um, a lot of guys see it and they kind of look at it and shrug their shoulders and say that little bitty guy can't do much for us. Well, this little guy is a beast. So it's our Neo 230 grinding machine. It's versatile, powerful grinding machine for small, mid-sized jobs. I've had guys use them on larger jobs, up to 5,000 square feet, up to um, 5,000 square square feet, uh, due to the fact that it is 150 RPM with a 2.75 horsepower motor. So not only is it powerful, it's also fast. This 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 small small machine, um, it it's 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 a very aggressive machine when 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 using it. I, I use it at a, um, at a at a at a dealership to uh, grind down some some seams in their floor from the concrete bin board. It kind of peaked everywhere, and I took this machine right on the job, standing up using a nine inch deck, which just worked right through that entire uh, job site. Um, to, to the point where the contractor on the job site told me, just leave the machine, they're just going to buy it. These guys were on their hands and knees with, 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 a, with seven inch hand grinders. Um, so it, 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 was, it, it does a couple things for you. It, it allows you to have your guys standing up in an upright position so they're, you're, you're protecting their back and their, and, and, and their body in that, in, in that way. It also has three adjustable motor positioning heads to where it can go left or right, or it can stay straight. Why would you want it left or right? Because it's it can get you a little bit over a half inch from the wall with the edging. So it becomes a it it too becomes a, a versatile machine as well. So you can use it for edging. You can use it out in the field. Um, I, I I've I, I had a uh, I had a guy um, over the weekend. I was showing him this this machine. And he had it with with one hand and was moving it back and forth. He goes, "Man, this thing's like a Swifter." So yeah, that's what one of my guys called it. Joe List calls it that, the, the old Swifter. Um, um, but it it has um, attached um, vacuum hosing for your dustless for for your dust containment systems. Uh, it weighs only a hundred pounds, and this thing can fold up. And again, it's one of our machines that fold up. You can put it on the back seat of your car, and and, and it's ready to go. Um, it's got an adjustable handle, easy start with it. Um, I, I, I can't, I can't say enough about, about the Neo 230. It's a phenomenal machine. If you're looking for grinding, if you, if you want a straight grinder, it's the one to go with. Um, the, um, next slide, it's going to be our, our ninja plate and our segments. So we have our poly, Probably Chris Crystalline uh, Diamonds are PCD scrapers. We have um, two. I mean, we have three styles of, of those, and we also have our K20, our, um, our, our diamond blades. Um, our machines. This is our our, our ninja plate. Is this it's this little uh, five segment uh, plate here? Our 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 machines actually have a um, unique slide in and slide out um, segments so you don't need screw, screwdrivers or wrenches or anything. Um, I usually have just a small little hammer just to tap them in, but they are quick change, which increases your productivity on the job. The um, you, you can change those blades in, in and out in a, in a, in a heartbeat. 
Um, all, all five of them, I have uh, the PCB scraper for removing adhesives and thin sets. Uh, we have the the K20s, which is our we call them the uh, the gold segments. The hard hard for um, for hard to very hard substrates, uh, and then we have the K20s, which are soft to very soft substrates. Uh, we have the the PCB XT scrapers for removing thick adhesives, thin sets, and the epoxy coatings. I've also used those on some job sites with. Um, with I, I I used them on a job site in Detroit. Um, we we had a customer there who used them up up there on the on the rooftop for tar. Um, I've had uh, this is the the same orange ones are the ones that I used. Um, I, I used them with the Mamba um, just uh, yesterday on that I mean um, Monday on that job site with the rubber floors. So they're they're really a, a aggressive. Uh, and then we have our PCD uh, split scrapers for removing thin thin coatings like um, epoxies, uh, some paints, some, some finishes, and stuff like like that. Um, I enjoy working with 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 these um, segments. I usually have two different ones on the site whenever I show up. Um, we've we've been getting rave reviews about the uh, about the life of our grinding segments. Uh, the K, the the BTK twenties and the ESK twenties. Um, a lot of guys just ask me how how much is the what's the life expectancy on those. It's kind of hard for me to give a life expectancy on the on the segments because I'm not 100 um, percent sure of the um, substrate that the guys are working on. But what I can tell you is that from my gold and my black segments, I've been getting reporting back from somewhere in the range of about 12 to 15 thousand square feet. Um, Per per set, it did have a, um, a, a did have a contractor call me and said he had his gold segments. He was fifteen thousand square feet square feet into him, and he had he was still had half half of the uh, segments left. Now I, I I say that, but I also want to want to reiterate that I, I'm not going to guarantee you thirty thousand square feet because I wasn't sure of the substrate that he was working on or how 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 um how aggressive it, it was. But he said they were they were killing the job. He had them. Uh, they were doing great. So, those are our segments that that, that go with our, our machines. That's our drive plate. Um, the picture shown is the the drive plate with the Euro clutch plate in, inside of it. But all of our drive plates, we do have the the U.S. version Mallet style uh, clutch plates. Our our next slide is um, going to be our dust control. Um, our, our, our DCS or dust control systems. We have two vacs that, that we offer, and we have a, um, a HEPA vac, a HEPA vac one, and a HEPA vac two. Um, both are very, very, you, you, both, both are very. I'm sorry, both are very good um, vac systems, and they do have a couple differences. Um, the HEPA vac one. Does meet the qualifications for the HEPA H14 filter and the um, the, the OSHA 29 CFR 1926.1153. Both does that. They both have a reverse pulse uh, filtering cleaning system, which uh, which also fits into the OSHA requirements for it to be uh, self cleaning um, or self containing when when, when cleaning. Um, this one has two filters, and it has a HEPA filter, and then it has a conical filter into the uh, in, in the barrel of the of the um, of the vat. Um, the HEPA one moves uh, air at about 103 cfm, um, and um, it we do have filter in, indication lights on there on on both machines. If you guys aren't on that aware of um, of, of your cfm. It's cubic feet per minute, and that's how much, how fast the air is moving through the through. I mean, how, that's how strong the suction is to pull the air through the hosing. Um, just a quick little note: if you do have guys who are operating seven-inch hand grinders, uh, OSHA requirement states that it's got to be 25 cfm per per inch of the um, of the removal disc. 
So a seven inch head would give them right about 175 CFM. So this would not be a vac that would be sufficient for a for a um, hand for a hand grinder. So that's why I kind of tell you guys go ahead and get yourself a um, a neo because it's nine inches and you're standing up and you only need 70 CFM. Okay. So moving along, I also have the HEPA two. The HEPA two meets all the standards as the HEPA one, except for I mean, including it has dual motors, and that's why it's a HEPA two. It has two motors in it. Um, those those adding that additional motor adds another 103 CFM, so that pushes it up to 200 CF 206 CFM. Um, it, it has a um, it has the long long go um, bagging system in, on on the bottom of it. This actual unit can. Um, it, it's height, height adjustable, so it can move up and down when when you're moving it around. I tend to uh, lower it and and I put it on my on my van in the lower it phase. That way, that it's not as top heavy and want to rock or possibly even tip over in my vehicle. Even though I have it strapped down pretty tightly, I still want that center of, of gravity to be lowered so that it's not it's it, it's it's not moving around or it, it doesn't want to move around at, at that point, including with it being strapped into my van. Um, we have a third unit, and that is our Wolf Pre Separator. And I'm sure you guys have seen seen these out on in the industry, um, out on in the field. The the Pre Separator, it actually saves the life of both backs or. Even if you don't have a wolf vac, having a pre separator is pretty dang on important for for your vacs and and the uh, and the, the the longevity of of your vac system. Um, the pre separator it takes up the ninety nine point nine percent of the particles, the heavy particles um, off the floor that that are coming through your your vac system. Ninety nine point nine percent of the heavy particle falls into the canister here only allowing a, a very small amount of dust to go through your back systems, what actually saves the filter on your on your um on on your backs. Um the the life expectancy of, of your of, of those filters just increases drastically. Um by by having a um a cyclone style of uh of, of airflow, that's what forces the, the heavy material down into the canister. Um, you do not lose any CFM with 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 this um, with this unit. It, it has a, a small three three foot inch and a half hose that that comes with it that attaches on, on that goes in between your your stripping machine and and your vac. It creates a um, a very safe environment for for you because you don't want um, you don't want your guys out taking your filters and taking a hose to them and spraying them and trying to clean them that way. You don't want your guys breaking down their, their, their system to change vacs. This right here, you just change a, a small trash bag, a, a contractor's bag that's inside of there. Those things can be can be changed in, in, in and out in about two minutes, creating uh, a, a, a positive and, and um, a, a, a positive and productive work environment. So your work environment, the guys are sitting around, hanging around, Everything's moving pretty quickly. It's 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 pretty cool. It also has a static um, con conduction, especially suitable for wood and dust. So it's it's very versatile um, piece of equipment. I've I've used it. I, I recommend if you if you're doing any grinding, if you're doing even if you're doing some sanding, uh, I recommend having a a um, a pre-separator, um, preferably the Wolf pre-separator, but you, you can find others, but I would prefer you to get, get that by the Wolf, and it's pretty cool. Um, our, our next slide is, is the introduction to our installation products. And in, in this slide, we, we've got some hand tools, we've got some welding welders, we've got some of the equipment that, that, that we use to, um, to um, in, install floors. Um, one is our, our our weld master, which is um, it's a it's an automatic welder. Uh, 
it's I've used it several times. Uh, you talk about a job saver here. Uh, I've had a couple guys ask me the number one question is, so when 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 is this most profitable? This is most profitable. I honestly say, unless you've got a job that you're doing um, that is more that if your job is 20 feet and longer, that's when you want to have this on on the job site working for you. Um, it's a phenomenal tool because you can set it up, push start, and let it weld. It's going to have the same con consistent weld throughout. Um, it, it doesn't. It has a couple of mechanisms on it that don't allow it to flash on the floor. Um, actually, and then when it gets to the in, end of the wall, it actually pops up and redirects the hot air out, out of some of the side piping on it. Um, the well master is it's, it's, it's super. The um, master groover is, is our is our groover that's been it's been um, it's 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 been a lifesaver for for a lot of guys who are who are uh, doing long uh, again long grooves. Uh, once once you've got your your seam, it's got a little wheel that fits right into the seam in front of it, and it's got a wider wheel on the, on the back that stays inside the groove once once you've created it. Um, it has a a, a unique uh, floor flow blade uh, action, so it kind of contours with the floor a little bit. So if it, it to help re reduce dulling the blade or causing damage to to your blade, it actually can move with with the floor just a tad. Um, and if it's moving a whole lot, maybe you need some self level, maybe some routine or something like that. I don't know. Um, but we also we we have a hand hand grouper, and and we have a combi scriber. Um, we, we also have the um, the polyurethane welding nozzle. Um, it it too is a it's a unique nozzle. I mean, you've got your, your pressure roller, you've got um, you've you've got the the heat going directly to the rod. It's got a little bitty hole under the bottom of the nozzle, but you got the heat going directly to the to the rod, which again can can reduce flashing on on, on polyurethane material uh, finishings. Pretty pretty cool little tool there. Um, the next one is going to be our installation, and, and our installation is all our, our, our cutters. And you can see here we've got five different styles of cutters. Our, our seaming tools are our trimmers, and man, these all five of them are you are just phenomenal. Um, the let's start with the strip cutter. The strip cutter here shown is our is our is the largest model. We, it comes in three different sizes, but this strip cutter actually can allow you to cut strips or borders out of out of material. In, in rapid time, uh, there's Wolf Tool. We, we've we've been working on priding our, ourselves for safety tools. This is one of those tools that you take the straight edge and the razor knife out of the way. It's gone. You set it up and you roll this through the through your material, and it's going to give you the exact cut every single time. If you're working with some some vinyl that's got like a wood wood grain on it, it's going to you can set it to rip into that. Um, that that plank or that panel in that in that sheet good, you can have it rip into that plank at every at the precise splitting point every single time. It's got a three way cutting uh, pass through system for for the blades. It's got a it's got a score. It's got a, a cut through. It's got a, an, an undercut uh, blade. It is a time saver. I've used it many of times. I've used it with my with my boys and my my sons on jobs, and they absolutely love it. It is error proof. Um, we have a circle cutter. Our, our circle cutter um, with the, with extensions, our circle cutter can go up to uh, 92 feet. Or we have in our catalog, I think it says extensions over 92 feet. Um, create basketballs, um, center circles, uh, circles on playgrounds. It's got three different three different um, Attachments or not not attachments, but you can do three different three different things with it. You can use a pencil in, in it, and you can just draw your circle, or you can score your circle, and you can cut through your material completely. I know um, a lot of guys have told me when they're using it, they like to score and then come back and back cut the circle. It, it makes everything a, a, a lot easier for for them. Um, we have the rail cut. The rail cut. Is a is a um, is a it's a cutting system. If you've ever used a um, a um, a track saw, that's pretty much what it what it's used what what how it works. I've used it on some rubber flooring, 
Um, I've worked with some some of the guys in the industry, and soon we'll we'll be releasing it with 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 some flooring manufacturers. Um, the the blade on it is adjustable, so you can drop that blade to cover pretty much um, right up to the thinnest part of the material without damaging your blade, and then you can come back and back cut. I've used it on some on some rubber floors, some 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 interlocking floors, and with one pass, I've been able to cut tabs off or I've been able to cut through um, some 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 thick rubber materials. The blade is is adjustable. Um, the the depth is up to uh, I think it's 15 milli- millimeters um, in, in inches. I can get you that. It has uh, several different tracks that that we can um, that you can add that you can add add to the machine to um, to a, extend it. And at um, 15 millimeters is about 0.6 of an inch, so about a quarter of an inch. No, a little bit more than a half inch. There we go. Um, we have uh, the green cut. It's kind of like a salvage edge, edge trimmer, but we have little um, we have tabs for it. So you can adjust the the width of of what your or I'm sorry some guides for it that you can slide in and out that you can adjust the um the the width of what you're you're stripping off or what what you're cutting off the um the roll itself. Um, we have the lintel cut. The lintel cut seam cutter is, I want to say, um, it's a tool that is. It's just getting around to everyone in the industry is falling in love with this. All all manufacturers, I've had so many sheet sheet good manufacturers that that fall in love with it that they all are wanting to um, put it in their, their installation manuals for for the tool to go to. Um, it is it can go from wall to wall with creating scenes. It kind of takes the scriber out of your out of the out of the job. You're, you're still going to always need a scriber to go up up wall, you know, if 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 you're uh, coving up up wall. But I'm I'm telling you something. If you're using it in the floor, and I've used it, um, you can go wall to wall. The actual the actual um, what I want to call it the the base for it. It sits on or the the um, cutting guide. That's that's what I call it. The, the edge cutting guide. It sits on on the material. And then when you have overlap your material, the cutting guide goes under your top level, down under your top piece of material, and it guides on the bottom layer. It guides on the material, and it doesn't get into the uh, glue billet bed, just which would, you know, as we all know, when you're using the, the the pin types, it just displaces your glue, and you find yourself cleaning that needle over and over again while 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 you're trying to create that seam. It eliminates all of that. Uh, give, gives you a nice clean cut. Um, I, I actually um, have used this several times, and I, I, I too, I'm one who um, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, the the handle the, the the handle on it, or the hand positioning part for all three rail cut, green cut, and lentil cut are all ergonomically fit to just sit right right in your hand. And these these tools are are, are heavy. They're they're con- contractors' tools. They they work very well with um, with cutting material. The next and final page is some of our installation hand tools. We've got a, our er- ergo cutter. is kind of like a it's a stand up pull cutter, um, and instead of pushing through material, you just throw a hook blade in it, and you can actually pull it through your material. And with the hook blade being on the on the um, on the pole on, on the on the pole there, it actually allows it to glide over those concrete seams without breaking. Um, I, I know some of the other cutters where where you're pushing through material, some sometimes it catches and it'll pop them. Uh, this one doesn't do that. We have another little stripper. It's called a junior stripper. I've had guys use that the junior stripper on on stairs, uh, stripping off coat base, uh, just a, a lot of fun fun little things with it. It's a handheld unit, very very small, uh, but it's a it's a held, held, handheld unit that guys love. Um, we have a a uh, wolf knife, pretty heavyweight. Um, I I actually have two 
knives, one that looks like this one, and I have the wolf knife. And I can tell you, I, I feel the, the honest difference in it. Um, the wolf knife, it's it's um, it's pretty nice. Every, everyone who's used it actually um, have wanted to take mine from me. Um, we, we have three styles of moisture meters. Um, we have um, a top beveler, that fast trimmer, is to it can actually replace your micro bevel on your plank or if you're using some tile that's got a, a bevel on it and you cut it off and you want to use that piece out in the field or if you want to make um if you want to make some some border runs if you want to replace a a top bevel we, we have the tool for it a uh, pressure roller dual pressure roller and we have a design collection kit which includes a lentil uh, lentil cut a i think it's the um fast trimmer, bottom bevel, a pressure roller, and some miter scissors. My last slide here is just a um, follow-up on who you can contact if needed. Um, you, you're always more than welcome to contact me, um, but I, I do have very, very good and very educated um, Co co-workers um, who can actually a a assist you as well. If you have any questions, you can contact us. Uh, the brand manager Dan Gill. If you're out west and, and you you want to you want a um, a wolf rep, you can contact Joe List. If you're in the Texas area or a little bit down south, you you can call Dennis. Um, if you're in the Midwest, yay, and you want to talk to yours truly. You know how to get at me. Give me a call. I'm more than willing to, to talk with you. And if you're uh, out east, um, you can you too can you know, also can call Dan Dan Gill as well. Um, Dan is actually um, he's in the process of bringing on another a, a new guy for the east. But until then, he he can be your your go to. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, I want to first again thank. William, I want to thank Lizzie. I want to thank the FCICA for putting on this this webinar. Uh, I do apologize for us coming on a little bit after after um, after our ten after ten o'clock, and I do apologize for keeping you guys a little bit over the eleven o'clock mark. Uh, we had a little technical difficulties getting started, but I hope this was uh, informative for you all. And I enjoyed the the time you all have, have let me. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot them my way now. Awesome. Okay. So if you do have questions, you can go to your uh, bottom left-hand square. There is a tab called Q&A. You can go ahead and submit your questions there. So, Corey, I do have one ready for you. If someone were interested in purchasing a wolf tool, what's the best way to do that? Is it to contact one of you guys? Are they sold in stores? What do you say? Uh, we have a very, a very um, extensive line of um, distributors throughout the country. Uh, it would be where, where would you be located at? Um, that, that would be the determining point. Or you can always call one of us. We can easily guide you to the, um, the local certified wolf distributor in your area. And if someone were looking for um, training or assistance on a job site, um, do they just contact you guys and, and you'll travel out to them? Or um, maybe some distributors have training on the tools? Yes. Well, um, we we have um, – so, Liz, I'm going to step just a little on the side here. Our parent company is Utsin, so – our Usain guys also help us out in the field. So if there's something that you need a little training on, we kind of partner with them. Being that it's only four or five of us in the country, I generally try and make it to as many job sites as possible. But if I can't, then I'll lean on one of my, my um, coworkers. But if you're looking for specific training, um, my, myself, Joe, um, Dennis, we we do training at at um at distributors i've done training at uh, con contractors places i've done training at some of our union training centers it just depends um if we can get the timing right we can make anything possible we make anything work 
sure that's the answer we all want to hear. We can make anything mm-hmm. happen. Well, I am not wolf. seeing any questions coming in from the audience. Um, so, of course, if you do have questions, obviously feel free to reach out to me. I can pass them along. Um, you can reach out directly to our reps here um, from Wolf Tools, um, and they can help you out. But uh, thank you so much for sticking a few minutes past time. Um, Like Corey said, we had a a little bit of technical difficulty at the beginning there, so apologies for coming in late. Um, But we wrapped up not too far after the hour. So, Corey, thank you so much for talking about all of these different tools. They are a huge help on the job site. Um, And I'm sure some of our people are using them. Actually, I'm sure a lot of our people are using them. Yes. (laughs) Okay. Thank you all. Thank you. Sims on the line, you can navigate to the Submit Credit tab on the bottom left square. Um, you'll, you'll be asked to complete a feedback survey, and then you can submit for credit. If you are not logged into the actual education platform, this function won't work right now. Um, so putting your name in for the webinar is not the same as logging into the platform. So you just have to go back out, go to our education platform, sign in, navigate back to this website, this webinar, and then it'll work. If you have any questions or difficulties with that, please don't hesitate to reach out for me. Um, We're hoping for a a simpler solution to this in the future, but for now, that's the process. Um, So please just uh, shoot me an email, give me a call. I can help you out with getting your credit. Okay? Thanks so much, everyone. And again, Corey, thank you. And uh, thank you to Wolf, a brand of Oots North America, Inc., for sponsoring this webinar.